Welcome to Read a Long Time with Dr. Thomas. Reading aloud is very special to me, and I think it can be enjoyed by all ages. So go ahead, grab your favorite blanket, get cozy, and join me for Read a Long Time. Hello, reading friends. Thank you for joining me for Read a Long Time with Dr. Thomas. Today, I am reading the book, Taylor, the Thankful Turkey by Sonica Ellis. In this book, we will read about giving thanks and being grateful. We will learn that being thankful is more than just being grateful for what we have, but also for showing others your appreciation. Happy reading! It was Thanksgiving Day in the town of Cranberry Hills, and Taylor Turkey was dressed and ready to go. He had a list of all the houses he needed to visit. Taylor grabbed his basket of goodies, and off he went, down the road to Teddy Bear's house. When he arrived, Taylor knocked on the door. Hello, Taylor said. I wanted to let you know that I am thankful for all the things you've done for me. I would like to give you a jar of sweet homemade honey sauce. Well, thank you, Taylor. That's really nice of you, Teddy replied. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Taylor hurried to the next house on this list. Once again, he knocked on the door. This time, Mrs. Squirrel answered. Hello, Taylor. What a pleasant surprise. To what do I owe this pleasure? She asked. I wanted to stop by and say thank you, said Taylor. I made some roasted pumpkin seeds just for you. How kind of you, exclaimed Miss Squirrel. Happy Thanksgiving, Taylor. Taylor walked a little further and soon arrived at Mr. Rabbit's house. Just as he was about to knock, the door opened. Well, hello, Taylor. It's always nice to see you, said Mr. Rabbit. I wanted to stop by and give you this basket of carrots, said Taylor. They're fresh from my garden. Happy Thanksgiving, Mr. Rabbit. Taylor visited all his neighbors, family, and all his friends. He told them how thankful he was to have them in his life, and he gave each of them something from his garden. Before long, word of what Taylor had done spread through the town. Everyone decided to follow in Taylor's footsteps. Gifts of sweet potato pie and cranberry jams were exchanged. Letters and words of encouragement shared, and the message was always the same. Big or small, always be thankful for what you have. The end. I hope you all enjoy today's read aloud. And remember, the more you read, the more things you will know. And the more you learn, the more places you will go. Literacy development is a vital part of a child's overall development. Reading also stimulates a child's imagination and expands his or her understanding of the world. There's a lot of research that documents and confirms the benefits of reading aloud to children. It builds a strong bond that can last a lifetime. So thank you so much for joining me for Read Alone Time with the Superintendent. Happy reading!